Right, we're going to show this loco going in really slow over these insel frog points, and you can see going forward it's not a problem. Or I hope you can anyway, and you can see it's nice and slow. However, when we go to take it backwards, give it a bit more so it's the same as speed, and you're going to see it stops. Now, if Susan pulls it forward with her hand, and runs it out a little bit faster. Put it towards you with your hand. Now run it out a bit faster. And you can see there's a problem where it stops. Yet, it doesn't stop in the other direction. So pull it forward with your hand again. No, that's backwards, lovely. Right, go forward again, a bit faster. Now go backwards at that speed. Go backwards at that speed. Bunker first, bit faster, please. And you can see it stops. Now I'm going to show you what's wrong and fix it really quickly. So let's move the loco out, take it all the way out the way. That's fine. Do you want to get me some screwdriver and some washers, please? And the problem is the point is totally uneven. So I'm leaving this in real time. There's the bubble, there's the line. And you can see that point is miles out. Absolutely miles out. So, what you do, got some hot water. And believe me, when this was put down, it was flat. So, what we do, put some hot water on it. There we go. All lovely. And we'll let it soak in for a while. I'm leaving this running. Got some screws there. And of course, because I use screws, simple as. undo. I could do with a slightly smaller Phillips, this is just a little bit big. And this is the most real-time fix I've done. With no cutting. Okay. So, get where this is again. It needs to be lifted up. That's fine there. It's just here. It's miles out. Okay, can I have a millimetre washer? Perfect. What I do is I make sure I can lift this, which I can see I can, and fire this in at what I think is the highest point. See how we get on. too much. Can I have a small, smaller flathead? So what you do if it's too much is dig it out. Can I have one of the smaller washers please? So what we've got is we've got a smaller washer we can put in here. Can I have a small flathead please? That's it, that's the one I want. And we'll put a smaller one in because you do it too much, you're going to have a problem in another direction. That's what with the really small washers is, is getting them in. Here we go. So if I push it in, so it's about a half mil washer. There we 
go. Let's have a look. That's better. That's better. A lot better. Hopefully you can see that's flat. Push it down, that's flat. Push it down, that's flat. Push it down, that's flat. Push it down. Tad out. I could lift that a touch, but I don't think it's going to make any difference. So, what I'm going to do now is screw these down. Problem is, well, I've painted these so you can't see them. And this is why I use screws because. Obviously I don't do them down too tight. Okay. Do you want to bring the low cover in now please and see how we get on? So I bring it in quickly forward, the night works fine forward. And take it out backwards. Okay, so we're still stopping. Double check it. Too much the other way. Okay, so what I'm going to do I know exactly why it's stopping. Pull that out. Hopefully, you can see why. Where it's entering point is still uneven so what I want is I want one of those small washers and I need to get it under here it. Okay, try that. Now I know it's not the loco because it runs over everything else fine. That looks better. Go on then, give it a go. Do it at a slightly faster speed first of all just to make sure we're on the right track. There we go. Bring it in forward at that speed. Just flick it across. Okay, do you want to take it out a little bit slower? And there you go. Bring it forward again, please. Take it back again, please. And as you remember, it was stopping on that point. Look at it now. Back again, please. And that's the most real-time fix I've shown you. No cutting, no messing around. There is nothing wrong with small locos over insole frog points, providing, and back again, keep doing it, Providing your track is level. Back again, please. And you can see that runs absolutely fine. Thank you very much for watching. And I hope you found this how to fix a small loco going over insole frog points. Your track has got to be level. Remember, one inch, one millimeter is three inches in the real world. Okay, do you want to fire it out now? 
perfect. One millimetre is three inches in the real world. Our, low, our point was dropping the equivalent to six inches. Thank you very much for watching.